Hey, it's Emily with The Ultimate Creative and the host of the podcast, Ultimate Podcast Marketing. And today I'm going to be showing you how to repurpose an IGTV video or an IG Live into podcast content. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so that you get notifications every time I drop a new tutorial just like this. Before I get into the actual tutorial, I want to highlight a few key points that you want to be aware of when you're recording your IGTV videos so that you get the best quality podcast possible at the end. First, as always, make sure you're recording in a space that has a lot of soft fabrics. Hard surfaces make the sound bounce around a lot. If possible, keep your phone steady on a tripod, or if you don't have that, you can use like a stack of books so that you don't pick up any sort of rustling sounds in the background. And if you're recording with guests, make sure that they are also following these steps. Now, this part's really important. During the actual recording, make sure that you and your guest aren't speaking over each other and that you give each other a little bit of space and take turns. This is going to prevent any sort of overlapping audio because you're not recording two separate tracks here, right? What happens is Instagram and all of the Wi-Fi recording apps have this echo cancellation software, which is really great when you're trying to hear things on like a, a work call or whatever, but it's not very great for recording. And so this echo cancellation means that if I'm trying to say something here and my guest's sound is going all roughly and there's background noise over here, if that sound is louder, it's going to totally crush and eliminate my audio. So even if I'm saying like the coolest thing ever, you're never going to hear it because the guest's audio was too loud and the app software didn't know any better to not just pick up your voice. So make sure you take turns speaking. Finally, don't use AirPods or Bluetooth speakers or headphones, whatever it is, because notoriously these will cut out and the sound quality when you're recording like the microphone in them is pretty awful they're way better for listening not very good for the microphone so use the microphone that's in your actual device or if you have the headphones that came with your phone just use that the mic that's included there is way better and when it's plugged in and the headphones are in it's way better for audio quality overall now there are three ways to download your igtv videos the first, if you're doing an IG Live, would be to download it immediately after you've finished recording in the Instagram app. And that's probably the best way to do it. But if you forget, you can do that using an app called ClipGrab. And that's what I'm going to show you in this tutorial today. The last resort is using one of those weird like web browser website things that seems to have a lot of pop-ups and it's very sketchy. And I don't want to use them because I'm afraid I'm going to get a lot of porn on my computer. So I just try to not use those. So I'm going to show you how to do it with clip grab. But if you're able to download your videos as soon as they're done in the Instagram app, that's going to be your best bet. I have found that using those weird apps online, they have a weird encoding thing, which means that either the audio is super slowed down or super sped up. And it's like really freaking difficult to edit that. Not impossible, but very difficult. And you don't want that. You want to make your life easy, right? So let's make your life easy. Okay, let's get into the tutorial. So the first thing you want to do is download Clip Grab. Clip Grab is a free app that you can use. Um, it is clipgrab.en.softronic.com, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, this is the link that you want to get. So Clip Grab download, and then it's going to take you through a series of pop-ups. So free download for Mac. Sure, I will click that. And then free download again. And then it's going to automatically set this up for you. So if it's, it says if it doesn't start, click here. So this is where I want to save it. I will save it to my desktop. Save. Great. Now it's downloading for me. I don't want these notifications. Thank you kindly. OK, and while that's downloading, let's grab a clip that we want to download. So let's say I want to download this live that I did with my friend Chris Swale. I'm going to click on this link. And what I want to do is instead of it saying TV, just put the letter P in there. This is the URL you want to keep. So select the whole thing, Command C to copy, or you can right click copy. And let's see if Clip Grab is ready to go. It is. So I'm going to open that. Wonderful. I'm going to click and drag into my applications folder as per the instructions, and I've got it open. I've got it open right here. This is where you put the URL. So you can go uh, search if you want to put it in there. This is the first thing you're going to see. And then here you're going to see all of your previous downloads. So you could put your URL right here, Command V to paste, and it's going to 
check information and see if it can find it. Great, it has found it. So you can select different formats. You can do like the original if you want the whole thing. The problem with downloading the actual entire video is that I found that it does this weird thing where it like slows down the audio and then it makes it impossible to edit. So in order to avoid that entirely, just download the MP3 audio directly from here and click grab this clip. Now it's gonna ask you to save somewhere so let's say I'm going to save it to the ultimate creative and I'm going to save it in my podcast folder, create a new folder, test demo party. Woo. I can't put an exclamation mark in there. And I want to call it ep, whoop, ep 45. Let's say this is episode 45. So now it's going to download. And then once that's done, you have your audio file ready to edit. And that's it. That's the tutorial. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel for more tutorial videos just like this and head on over to your favorite podcast app and subscribe to Ultimate Podcast Marketing for more podcaster content just like this. Bye.